this is Team HOC coming at you guys with another episode today. Oh no. It's still VCTRF's line. Nah. Um, anyways, I uh, just want to do a discussion today, but uh, I want to start this video off saying thanks for everybody that subbed, keeps subbed, all that good stuff, been subbed for a while. Um, for most of you guys who don't know, we are partners now. Um, so there's going to be uh, ads and stuff like that. going to be some banners going up um, when I get around to having the software to make those. Hopefully sometime soon. i um, going to look into, look into how I can do that. Um, but anyways, uh, just thanks to everybody again. Keep subbing. Keep getting people to sub. All that good stuff. Um, this discussion today is going to be about these four cards I have right here. Um, a couple of them really obvious, what they do, how they do it, um, why they're important, but I still feel like it's something worth talking about. First card, uh, Steel Swarm Roach. Um, this is one of the most hyped exceeds for sure. Let's see if my camera will focus. There we go. Autofocus for the win. Um, anyways, so we got this Steel Swarm Roach. It's a rank 4 exceed, so it uh, takes two level 4s. Um, the text reads, let's see if we get a little farther in there. There we go. Uh, when a level 5 or higher monster would be special summoned, you could detach one of the XYZ material from this card to negate the special summon and destroy it. Um, so basically it gives you two free um, negates of a summon. Absolutely no cost and um, a really important thing to notice about its text is unlike things like Utopia, um, when it loses all its material it's still a live 19 beater. Um, gets over Tengu, gets over you know, problem cards like that. Um, another thing to notice about this, it is a uh, 19 beater, like I said. Uh, really solid stats for a rank 4, at least from what I've seen. Uh, it's not a beater like Utopia, but I think its effect is way better. Um, I think for those who can afford it, because I mean, it's effectiveness and use in the meta is definitely reflected by its price right now. Of course, it's still ballooned because of um, low supply, uh, but still. Um, it, it's probably going to level out as one of the higher end cards, especially money card of the set. Um, it's dark. I don't know if that really matters at all. At least I think it's dark. Yeah, it's dark. Um, anyways, so, I mean, just look out for that. It stops a lot of pivotal synchro plays. Um, like, stops anything that's not Caius. That's the way I'm looking at it. Like, mainly are cards that are used in the meta that gets over this. I mean, Caius isn't even ran that much anymore. Um, but it's really good to stop synchros. Stop Cyber Dragon, if that matters. Um, stop Slow 5. Nope. Yeah, stops level 5. No, it doesn't. I was going to say it stops to exceed, but the whole rank versus level thing is really messing me up. Um, anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions, any comments about Steel Swarm Roach, um, put them in the comment section. Uh, yeah. So, thumbs up if you like the price. If you got one of these and immediately sold it because it's going for like 60 70 bucks or some ridiculous like like even more I had a friend that sold his for like 90 ridiculous um next card is one that's been in the meta that since day 1 since before day 1 has just like been insane uh we're talking about reborn tangu um 
this card is so ridiculous. Um, I kind of want to focus a little bit more on like the exceed portion of this card because I mean we all know like it's synchro shenanigans that like librarian just massive synchro with plants. Um, uh, anyways, if you guys haven't heard rulings about how uh, exceeds are gonna work for the TCG versus the OCG. Um, you get Tangu's effects when it exceeds up. Pretty simple. Um, also, Sangin's effect when it gets sent to the graveyard. Uh, Goblin Zombie. So look out for zombies with tour guides in them. It's going to be ridiculous. Um, so anyways, Tangu, uh, unless you're living under a rock for the past couple months, you know what Tangu does. When it leaves the field, you get to special summon another Tangu from the deck. Um, it's 17, level 4 win, Beast Warrior. Um, Beast Warrior, I think, has been a pretty good thing because uh, Horn of the Phantom Beast has seen a little bit more play, especially since, what was it, Nats? Or was it before Nats? I can't remember. Um, when the TG deck did really good and it was maining those horns. Um, just bumps up the attack. Uh... This Tengu is just busted. Um, especially all the things that abuse Tengu. I guess the card itself is is good, but everything that makes it better is great. Um, I'm hoping to see this card get hit, but I don't think it will for some reason. I think we'll still have another format of Trip Tengu. Um, makes me sad, but I think it's going to happen. Hopefully it gets moved down to two. Um, moving it down to one would just be ridiculous. It'd be like putting Mally to one. Um, but anyways, uh, the only reason I wanted to show this card was just to kind of compliment the Roach. Um, really broken card. Um, play sets are expensive. Anyways, um, comment if you have any comments about Tengu. Um, why I shouldn't have put it in this overview because it's obvious. Um, yeah, moving on, moving on. Next card, Ultimate Offering. Um, I think this card, uh, with the quote unquote Dawn of Exceeds, what we're doing, um, this card's gonna see a lot more play. Um, it has seen a lot more play in even Synchro variants. Um, in the OCG, I'm hearing a lot of. Secro variants with uh, gadgets. Um, this going into Trish like it's nobody's business. Stuff like that. Um, it's a really solid card. Uh, I mean, it, uh, there was a reason why it went down, and then it, Konami thought it was fit to move back up, so here we are. Um, for you guys that don't know what it does, uh, you pay 500 and you get an extra normal summoner set, and it could be activated during your main phase and your opponent's battle phase. Um, so the whole normal summoner set thing in your main phase is good by itself. I mean, if that was the only effect of this card, it would be just as useful. Um, you know, this enables you to go gadget, fill up your field, exceed, um, still have hand, st still have card advantage, basically. And then have roaches and utopias and I mean whatever other rank four are I mean you could even go the herp derp um offering limiter play with gadgets. Um I have a friend that's also playing this in GKs. Um another, you know, for the exceed can go into stuff. Uh recruiter gets its effects when it's exceeded. Um it also uh, gives you cards to trib with Descendant. Uh, so, I mean, it's really solid. Um, the fact that you could set stuff during your opponent's battle phase is another really good card, or, excuse me, really good effect of it. Um, so you just set a Spy, set a Recruiter, set a Raiko, I mean, chump block, chump block, chump block. Uh, 500 is better than taking 3,000 or whatever. Um, a lot of people don't like this because the fact that 
uh, they think it's like a one trick. If this is your one trick in the deck, like this is the card that makes the deck work, then it it's not good. Um, I th I think it should be one of the more like win more win faster cards versus the deck dependent card. Um, but that's just me. Uh, tell me what you guys think of Ultimate Offering. If it's main deck worthy in more decks than just just gadgets. Um, yeah, just just tell me what you think. Um, we're gonna go through our last card. Insect Neglect. Yeah. Okay, we're not really overviewing, reviewing whatever this card. I just wanted to put it in here because I collect them. Have like four hundred. Like it. It's neglected. Oh. Um. Yeah. There was no reason that was in here. Um. Maybe if insects ever got big. For you guys that don't know what it does, because it's a really, really random card. Um, when your opponent's monsters declare an attack, you can remove from play one insect type monster from your grave to negate the, that attack. It's basically like a necro card now. Um, but anyways, this is Team HOC. Um, one last thing. Um, we have a friend, uh, check out his channel, it's E-Man, numbers, 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 numbers. I'll put an annotation, and he's also in our sub box. If you want to check that sub box out, a lot of other good people in there. Uh, Mega, Mega Capital G, another really good partner. Um, uh, just a lot of good people in there. Check that out. Um, this is Team HOC. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for helping us get partner, YouTube. Peace.